In this video, we are going to be looking at solving equations from word problems or diagrams. So we have two separate examples. One is a common word problem and the other one involves shapes. In an exam, when you see a question like this, they stand out. It will save lots of time to notice it straight away so you can go straight to working out using the correct method. So let's have a look at question one here. Adam is making a cake. He needs twice as much sugar than butter and 50 grams more milk than sugar. He wants to make 250 grams of cake in total. Altogether, how much of each ingredient will he need? So you always want to start off by identifying what is the smallest value. In this example, we're going to be looking at which ingredient is used the least. So you can see here, he needs twice as much sugar as butter. So he needs more sugar than the butter and even more milk than the sugar. So the butter must be our lowest one. So we say that butter is equal to x. Now if the butter is equal to x and sugar is twice as much, then we can say our sugar is 2x. And again, we know that milk is 50 grams more than the sugar. So milk is 2x plus 50, just like that. So the benefit of having butter as the x is that you don't have to use any negatives for the sugar and milk because you can't go any lower than the butter. Okay, and through this, we know that in total, they want to make 250 grams of cake. So we can form an equation. So we can say that x plus 2x plus 2x plus 50 equals 250. Now, if we collect all the terms up, we can see we've got x plus 2x plus 2x, and that is 5x, and plus 50 equals 250. And from the solving equations practice we've had, we can subtract 50 from both of these, and we're going to be left with 5x equals 200, so x must be 40. So if we go back to the question, it's asking us how many of each ingredient will we need. So if x is 40, that would be that. Sugar, 2x must be 80. And then 2x plus 50 would be 80 plus 50. That is 130 grams of each of those ingredients. And it's always good to double check it. If you were to add these up again, you can see that 40 plus 80 is 120 and add 130 does in fact give us 250 grams in total. So as soon as you see questions like this, as I said, they stand out. Your aim is to make an equation and then solve that equation. Okay, let's have a look at question two. So this is another common example using shapes this time. So you could have a hexagon, a pentagon, quadrilateral or a triangle. They're all fairly common, but we're gonna use a triangle here. So we need to calculate the size of the biggest angle. Again, what do we know about the angles within a triangle? We know that they add up to 180. So again, we can say x plus x plus 30 plus 3x plus 50. So I've taken all three angles, and we know that they must add up to 180 degrees. And again, collecting up these terms, x plus x plus 3x gives us 5x, and the numbers 30 and 50 here and here will give us 80, and that is equal to 180. Now, again, if we subtract 80 from both of those, 5x is going to equal 100, and finally divide that by 5x is going to equal 20 degrees. Now, they've asked us to calculate the biggest angle. We can see just by looking at it, the biggest angle is going to be this one, 3x plus 50. So if we take our x and substitute it into 3x plus 50. Again, using the substitution rules that we've learned in a previous video. 3 bracket 20 plus 50. 3 times 20 gives us 60, plus 50, 110 degrees. And again, something for you to do in your own time. Substitute the x into this angle and this angle as well. Add them up and they should equal 180. This is a good thing to do in an exam because it's reversible so you can always check it. Apart from that, thank you for watching and I hope that helped.